Hey guys, Mike Wood here coming back at you. I have a few thoughts that I want to share with you. This is going to be kind of a quick one, I think. So I just wanted to discuss something that I thought was um, important and uh, if understood properly, empowering. And this all has to do with why you do what you do. Why do we do the things we do in life? And unfortunately, too many of us have gotten into a habit where, honestly, I think we're conditioned to it. More about that in another video. But where we act out of fear or duty. And so there, there are basically, I would say, um, four primary reasons we do something. And so everything, every other reason in our life, every every thought, every pattern, everything that, you know, everything that we point to and say, this is why I do X, Y, Z, it's all going to fit in one of these four areas. So first, unfortunately, the most common is fear, some form of fear. I do it because I'm afraid if I don't, then X, Y, Z will happen. Or I do it because I'm afraid of not doing it right or or i mean fear it, it is a reactionary thing it, it's a a worry uh, a a pre-reactionary i guess i should say it's always going to be doing something because we fear the result that might happen if we don't do it and that's a low vibration Okay, so fear is is everything with uh, uh, worry, doubt. Uh, if we have a, a a frustration, you know those types of things. That's fear. Okay, so the other reason we do things is duty. So if your why is duty, this might be, well, I'm doing it because I'm supposed to. I do it because I feel obligated to do it. All right? This is, this is a step up from fear, but not by far. Okay, I guess I should put these the other way around. In fact, you know what? I think I'm going to do that. Because the higher vibration is what we want to get to. So let's turn this around. Fear... Fears down here. That's the worry and the doubt, and uh, I'm afraid of what will happen otherwise. So a lot of times we do things out of fear. All right. So a step up from that, right? We're going in this direction. Step up is no, nope, not doubt. Doubt comes down there. Duty. So your parents told you so, and you want to honor your parents, so you do it. Um, the scriptures say I should do it. Uh, um, what are, the government says I should do it, right? Um, culture says I should do it. That's duty. Okay, so um, culture, parents government somebody said do it and so you do it not because you want to but because you believe it's your duty to do so okay so this is a little bit better than fear but it's still a low vibration it's not your your highest creative power and that's what we're trying to get to is the highest creative power next up is we do it because of desire I gotta learn how to put my markers on the board. We do it out of desire. This is what we want. This is doing something because we want a result. We want something for ourselves. Now, this could be selfish. It could be, it's not always. But that's doing something because you want to do it, because you have a desire for a reward, and that's really what, to, let's put that in here. And down here in fear and duty, both of these, 
we might do because of a, a fear of punishment, okay? Desire, we're looking for a reward. We're doing something because we want to be rewarded. It could be selfish. It could be something, you know, I want. But that's a higher vibration because we have, and this, we got to get in deeper on this, but understand thoughts have power. When you think of something, when you have a goal in mind, that's why goals are so powerful and so important because when you have something in your mind that you want to achieve, you focus on that and you're going to start putting things into motion that will allow you to attain that goal unless you fall down here to fear and say I want that but I don't believe that I can have it okay so what are the what are the reasons we do things all right so what's the highest vibration love Love includes wanting to do it because we, we, not because we feel an obligation to somebody else, but because we want to please. Now, this is not we want to please because we have a desire to be seen as pleasing, right? So be careful with this. But this is true love. We truly love a person or a collective person's, and so we do what we do out of true love. That is why, in the Bible, the first great commandment is to love God, and the second is to love our neighbors as we love ourselves. So in order to act in the highest vibration, we have to love ourselves, we have to love God, which means we need to seek to know Him, because if we don't know Him, how can we love Him, right? And so that, again, goes back to my, my God discussion on how so many people have this belief that God causes everything in our lives. Nonsense. We cause it. We are the creators. And we need to learn how to act out of love in everything we do. Not regret, which falls down here. Not fear. Not doubt. Not duty um, because of fear of punishment. All of that fear. So think about why you do what you do. In your life really put some thought into that take some time and think about why do I do what I do if we can turn our actions to do it out of love because we want to to love others because we do love others we do love ourselves and we do love God when we get to that point then we recognize as I stated before he wants to give us all that he has He's told us that. He knows that we can achieve that, that we can attain all that he has. Otherwise, why would he suggest the idea? Why would he suggest become easy even as I am if that wasn't possible? He knows it's possible. We need to believe it. And when we start believing that and we act out of love, the highest desire, then we can start receiving more, doing more, becoming more, doing everything that we want to do, okay? So this idea, if you can get this in your head and understand why you're doing what you do and stop doing it out of fear, stop doing it out of duty, stop doing it out of selfish desire, but let's go straight to doing it because we love ourselves and we know we deserve it, we love God, and we know we deserve to understand that, and we love our neighbor, all of our neighbors, and they deserve that. When we start acting out of love because we care, we genuinely, genuinely care about other people, we will get better results. So that's what I have for you today. I hope that helps. Go out and make it a great day. 
Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like the video, click that bell so that you can get notified of more videos coming up.